Hi, I'm Shane with EatSolera.com. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install Solera 8 foot slide topper on our 2012 Cruiser RV Fun Finder travel trailer. For those of you that may be new to camping in an RV or camper, adding a slide topper on a slide out is a must. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money in the long run. Now if we don't have a slide topper on our box, what happens is this T-molding actually sticks out from a box about three inches. Well, it seals good against here, but the top of the box is open. So when you're camping, a lot of campsites have trees, uh, trees, leaves, water can pull up and sit up on top here. You're gonna have to get up on a ladder each time before you slide that top in or that box in, clean all that stuff off. If you don't, what happens? It's gonna create mold. When you slide the box in, where's that mold going? It's going right inside your camper. If you don't, clean off the leaves. They get wet, what they do is they pile up. When you close that up, as those leaves bunch up against this edge, that T molding is gonna push up against it and it's gonna gap like this. If it gaps, when it rains, where's that water gonna go? It's gonna go right through that gap. Again, on your top, inside your camper, it's gonna create a whole lot of issues that you don't want. So now you can see with our slide topper installed, we're completely covering our box. We're not gonna have to worry about when we go camping, cleaning off the dirt, debris, any leaves, because they're not gonna get caught on here. Our slide topper is gonna to allow all of that to be pushed off the end or off the sides, as well as the rain. Another thing I really like about slide toppers is once you got them installed, there's no maintenance. The tube's gonna to have a spring in it. When you slide the top out, it's gonna unroll the fabric. When you slide the topper in, it's gonna roll that fabric back up on that tube. Our slide toppers are gonna to come in white or black. They're gonna have matching components and they're gonna come in a wide variety of sizes for different size slide outs. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let me walk you through how to get it installed. To begin our installation, uh, if your Fun Finder travel trailer has this gutter, uh, it's gonna to have to be removed and you're also gonna to have to remove all this sealant that's on her. Because we're gonna be installing this rail in place of it so that our slide topper will have something to hold on to. So what we need to do is we need to remove this first. We need to remove this sealer that's on there. Um, I'm using a plastic putty knife so we don't damage the side or the paneling. You should be able to just scrape it. Kind of like that. Next thing we need to do is measure from the T-molding. Make sure you're not measuring from the end caps. We're gonna measure from this edge up three inches. Start at one end, put a couple marks in so that when we put the rail up, it's gonna be level with the top of our box. Then what we did is we measured the width of the top of our box, split it in half, and put a line. Then we need to measure our rail, split it in half, and what we did is we put a line. So when we go to put this up, we're gonna line it up with our three inch marks and line up this center line with the center line from our box. Next thing we're gonna do is on our rail, we're gonna put some butyl tape on. Now the butyl tape does not come with your kit. However, I highly recommend it. Um, what this does, is it's gonna seal the back part of the rail up against the wall. When you run your screw through the butyl tape, it's actually gonna grab some of that butyl tape and pull it into the hole to help seal that hole. Now we're gonna take our butyl tape Sticky side down, obviously. And we wanna make sure that we're covering the holes. So we're gonna go right inside the two lips. And we'll just cut off the end. Then we're gonna go back through and we're gonna press it, the butyl tape onto the rail to make sure that it seals well. Now I'm gonna peel off the paper side of my butyl tape, line up my center line with my center line on the box. The nice thing about the butyl tape is we can take and push that rail in place and it will actually hold it as we're moving. So we'll be able to adjust where we want our rail to go if we need to go up a little bit more in one spot or not. You're gonna get some white self-tapping screws. They're gonna be square head. 
uh, you want to make sure you put one in each one of the holes on the rail. Make sure you don't over tighten because you don't want to strip out the hole on the inside. You're going to have two brackets that look like this. These are going to mount bottom edge of the top part of your T-molding. Uh, you can mount it down here if you want to give you a little extra room. I, myself, would say being up against the top is probably your best bet. You'll notice there's a lip at the top. You want that lip to be up and right at the bottom of the T-molding. You're going to have some flat square head screws to mount it into place. Again, you want to make sure you're using butyl tape on the back. Now what we need to do, before we put our top up, any existing holes that we didn't use, uh, I would suggest putting some non-sag sealer in there, and we're also going to seal the top of this rail. Then we're going to have brackets like this that are actually going to slide over these. Um, in your directions, they're going to say to put these on the rods and then on your roller first. I've always found it easier to put them up here first. Um, you got a couple different holes, so if you notice, we mounted on this one, it's going to pull this down a little bit more. We're going to go up so it sits a little bit higher. You just want to make sure that you match the two sides. Then we're just going to slide the plate on, just like that. If you're using the bottom two slots we're going to put a screw in here and here that comes in the kit if you're using the upper two slots you're going to put them in the top two that's going to keep this plate from sliding back and forth and for these they're just little uh, you'll have four of them little black threaded allen screws now uh, a good tip is you can spray just a little bit of lubricant right inside the rail before you put your top in another thing that i would do is take some needle nose pliers in these corners just kind of bend them down so that as you're sliding the top on the corners don't tear into the fabric. Next, we want to unroll it about one turn. We don't want to do any more than one turn. We want to make sure that our brackets are facing like this. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to slide this bead into our rail mounted at the top. We want to slide our rail into our bracket. Then we're going to take this rail. Again, make sure your holes are lined up. And slide it right in just like that. Now, once we have our arm on our bar, we want to extend out our slide just enough to where we can get our end cap on and our bolt in the back. Once we do that, we're going to have some locking pins here we can remove and we'll be able to extend it and retract it all the way. All we're going to do is we're going to take our tube, we're going to spin it, it's going to loosen this spring or this clip. We're going to pull our clip out. We're gonna do that same thing on both sides. Now, before we install the remaining hardware, uh, we need to extend our box out all the way. We need to adjust our awning over just a little bit. Now that we've made all of our adjustments necessary, uh, we have the same overhang on our canopy off the side on both ends. We're going to go ahead and put our self tappers in these two holes in each bracket. They're going to look like this. And we're going to have one small self tapper like this for each end. Edge of the canopy, we're going to go in one inch, and we're going to go right down through the rail through the bead in the canopy. That's going to keep the canopy from sliding inside the rail. We're going to do that same thing at the other end. Now that we've got all of our hardware installed, I'm going to go ahead and slide the box out. 
double check everything, then we're ready to go. Again, I'm Shane with guitar.com. I hope this video has helped you, whether you're still deciding or installing the Solera eight foot slide topper on your 2012 Fun Finder travel trailer.